ble bleeding inside of my uterus. Okay. But I went back and they said it stopped. But this time I went back yesterday and they said that it's there and it got bigger. So I'm not because they said if I'm not because I'm not bleeding vaginally. Okay. The blood is just in there. So that's what I'm saying. Because they said if it's bleeding out, like if I'm bleeding, I mean it's a good thing. But if it's just there and it's growing, that's a bad thing. So I'm confused because I keep getting different answers and I keep having dizziness and weakness. So they told me if I express that, they come back, but I can't hear instead of going back there because I keep getting different answers every time I go back. Because I told them yesterday I'm there because I'm having a dizziness and a weakness and a nauseaness and they still want to go home. Okay. Any medical conditions for you? Anything you take medications for? Um, no. Okay. And you're approximately 15 weeks pregnant? Yeah. And when was your last menstrual period? So my period have always been irregular, uh -huh. so I don't know. When's the last time you remember? Probably last like... Because you wouldn't have, you would have had no bleeding since you've been pregnant, right? No, so I've had bleeding since I've been pregnant. Okay. When was the best of your recollection last menstrual period? What do you think approximately it was? Probably like December. December? Yeah. That's correct. Cool. So. Yeah, I think last night was like December. Okay, and you're 15 weeks pregnant approximately? Yeah, I'm is 15, that based on an ultrasound? Days, yeah. Okay. Uh, what number of pregnancies is this? Um, three, but three. I have one living child. So you had uh, uh, one miscarriage? No, I had one abortion, mm -hmm. I have one living child, and I'm pregnant now. So, okay, so. Okay, and you're here today because? Um, so yesterday I was at University of Maryland. Um, they told me that my bleeding inside of my uterus is back, mm -hmm. and that if I keep experiencing the same symptoms that I've been having, they come back. Okay. And I am, but I didn't go back there because every time I go, it's something different. First they said it was there, then they said it stopped. And now they said that it's back and it's got bigger. And they don't know if it's gonna do something to the baby or me because they said the problems that I'm having it's coming from the bleeding, but I'm not bleeding vaginally. Because hmm. it's like I can't even stand or walk for 10 minutes without getting dizzy. I can't even go up my steps. You're getting dizzy, nauseous, anything else? Any fever, diarrhea? I'm like weak and like overheat. Okay. Trouble breathing or chest pain? Yeah. Which is both. Okay. Yeah. Any pain in your tummy? Yeah. It's like cramping at the bottom and on the top left and top right. Any vaginal bleeding or discharge this time? Nope. Where's your OB located at? On Penn Street, the one missing it. Is it out of here, Hopkins, or somewhere else? No, it's with University of Maryland. The first read was preliminary. That means a resident probably read it, and now the second read is saying it's stable. So they're saying it's the same. It's not changed. The hematoma. See, that's why I'm confused because yesterday, last night, she told me that it grew. Yeah. So, what happens is just like here, because mm -hmm. uh, it's a there's a residence, it's an educational mm -hmm. uh, hospital. Um, um, the initial read is read by a resident, so that residence read says hematoma likely bigger. So they're not sure, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm looking at the final read read by the new. Uh, the attending, so the final main doctor, mm -hmm. they're saying it looks the same. Okay. So the problem is when they probably discharge you, they didn't have the main doctor read it, and then that one doctor has to go based on what he's seen. Does that make sense? Yes. So my question is... So were you seen on the 20... How many times were you seen there? What days? I've been seen there, like, my whole pregnancy. Has been no, 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 with their same symptoms. Um. So it happened... The 26th. The 26th. Okay. So not yesterday, two days ago. It was two days ago? 
26, meaning Alyssa was in the middle of the night. Yeah. I left there at like 9. Some blood work, we'll go from there, okay? Okay. Alright, y'all, so we in the room. They want to check my pelvics. They go crazy. But, y'all, it's a whole long story. I'm going to give y'all updates about everything. But, Papa went home to get his work clothes because he do got to go to work and he got to let his dogs out. The baby girl is right here. Baby is not. But, y'all, that's a whole long story. I'm going to sit down and explain everything. Go, why I'm in the doctor, so I'm in the hospital, whatever. <sighs> Bear with me, guys. Bear with me because I don't have it in me. Questions to ask you. Um, I've had surgery when I was like a baby, like as soon as I came out because they were born. Ooh, what's wrong with you? Do you know? I got stuck coming out. Oh, okay. So tell me what the surgery was. <laughs> it was on my shoulder. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Which shoulder was it? My left. I know, because I still have problems with it. Okay. <laughs> no drug use? Mm-mm. Never? Nope. Right. Smoke ever? Um, oh, uh oh, no. <laughs> no. Vape, chew? Uh-uh, no. Nope. Easy? Mm-mm. Okay. So I take it that the thing that you smoked was marijuana. Yeah, <laughs> like twice. Uh-uh, yeah. no. And any family history that I need to know about? Um, doubt it. <laughs> and then prior to medication? I'm not on any. You're not on any? No. Because on the 26th, they prescribed some antibiotic, but I didn't even have time to pick it up. Because okay. <laughs> it just got done today, and I'm here. What is it for? It's, um, I have to look at which one they ordered you and then I'll let you know. Okay. All right. And you are pregnant. What's your expected due date? Um, the 14th. They just changed it to the, the 14th. 14th of what? November. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I was trying, I was trying to figure out which one I was ready to tell you—the fifth table or the fourteenth. Because they just changed it to the fourteenth. Okay. Are you breastfeeding? Yeah. Okay. I know. I don't like to take a medicine as it is. You mm -hmm. lucky if you catch them in my baki book. <laughs> that means I'm gonna really take it. <laughs> and how much do you weigh? Um, um on the twenty sixth I was two ten. And how tall are you? Um, five foot. Did mommy wake you up? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 
when you came in today because you were having some pelvic pain? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been having your pelvic pain? Since the beginning of my pregnancy. Okay. Remind me, this is not my bed. So, what made you come in today? Of all um, because so on the 26th, no, I was already going to the hospital, mm -hmm. I just wasn't coming here. Mm -hmm. Um, I was going to University of Maryland. Mm -hmm. Um, they told me that if I still was experiencing a dizziness and a stomach pain and a Ray pass out and all that other stuff um, to go back to the hospital. Mm -hmm. But I didn't go back there because I keep hearing something different mm -hmm. from every doctor that I see. Okay. So I'm just trying to come to an understanding about what's everything that's going on. So let me see this one. It is basically um, B6. It's kind of a medication. So it's like a vitamin B6 that kind of helps when you are having like nausea. And that was from earlier. Like, <laughs> so um, they gave you that. It's just one of those things. I mean, you can either take it or you can don't take it. It's up to you. Um, if you want to talk to the doctor more about it and what it is before you take it, mm -hmm. by all means, do that, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but um, once she is ready, we'll come in um, and assist her with the, uh, the exam. Just going to go get a couple of more things for you. Um, Oh, we got an IV? Yeah. And they ordered some blood. So it looks like I need to draw some blood. Again? They took blood. Just how long ago? I don't know. When you first, like, when you first I was came like, in? They took blood then and then they called me back again. Okay, let me just make sure that they didn't do it, okay? Because mm -hmm. they did a hepatic function. That's your computer? Hmm. That's your computer? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's telling me that. <laughs> So she just ordered this at eight at eight forty. <laughs> so let me see which one's on. Oh, and then she did the urine specimen one. I just gave them. Oh, I gave them one when I got here. Okay, so she did a lab prep and then she did a urine. She did a urine instead of a um. So we need not worry about that. I got the urine t um tabs. I didn't have the other ones. I had somebody going to look for a bag for me. <laughs> Research and testing team. Uh -huh. When you came in today, the nurse asked if you wanted to get a HIV test done. Is that yeah. something you're still interested in doing? Yeah, I told him I didn't care. <laughs> okay, it's just a nurse swab. <laughs> okay, that's and fine. Then, um, I'll take it to the lab. It takes about 20 minutes to process. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I really didn't care too much. I'm already here. Been here all day. I know. I saw that you were. <laughs> like yeah, they they now. was lucky when they got me. They got me. I was afraid to leave. No, I was going to take this IV out. We <laughs> let me leave. My I don't got no problem with telling them to take this out and let me leave. She's sitting in the waiting room, too. They just put her in the room, too. Oh, and she's in a wheelchair. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. She was here for, I think, five hours. But you were here like nine, ten hours or something? Probably not. I got here like one. I don't remember what time it is right now. Um, it's probably nine o'clock. <laughs> nine p.m. Oh, and then you had her with you the whole time? Yeah, my fiance was here, but he had to go get his work clothes and stuff. Yeah, he worked night shift. All right, y'all, he just came back in here for my HIV testing results. I really didn't need it, but I'm already here, so it was like a why not. He's doing like a, a little bag with stuff in it to like um, take charge of your health and all this other stuff. And condoms? I don't need these. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need all of them. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, okay, so y'all, yeah, um, we just came back in. Um, I 
just left for work. Um, my stepdad actually just came and got the baby. Um, so now I'm here by myself. I you know I hate being alone when I hate being by myself. Cause I'm just so used to being with somebody. So, but I'm here by myself. Waiting for all these test results and stuff to come back. I did get to see baby girl. Um, she was moving around. She's a happy, happy baby, and I love that so much because she's going through so much right now that she don't even understand. And she's still happy and moving around. Like, wouldn't let the doctor take her heartbeat. But her heartbeat was, was 169. I think it was 169 and 170. Uh, last time her heartbeat got checked, it was 158. But, yeah, y'all. Um, then I'm about to just lay here and watch YouTube. I have an extremely bad headache. Um, I just had a pain in my stomach. It just left. Um, yeah, I'm going to just update you guys. Full time I'm here. Right now it's probably like going on eleven o'clock, so we will see what time we get out of this motherfucker. We've been here since three. I mean no 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 I'm lying, I'm lying. Been here since one. One o'clock in the afternoon. So let's see what time we will be leaving. You good? Okay? Yeah. You on the phone? Um no no no, no. I was pausing my video. Him on the phone and yelling at everything, and I <laughs> was like, Do you want me to come back? And he was like, No, and he just hit mute. <laughs> <laughs> Had a full conversation with me, and everything like that, unmuted. Like, All right, y'all. So, um, it's the, basically the next day. I wanted to come and end up this video in the car because y'all, when I'm in a car, y'all know the car, my car is like my safe place, like where I can like express, express all my emotions and everything, like not get emotional around a baby and stuff like that. So, okay y'all so basically i was in the hospital because and i've been in the hospital multiple times y'all just don't know about it but i was in the hospital because i have bleeding inside of my uterus right the bleeding inside of my uterus is right over top of the baby so the bleeding pop anytime um technically i can have a miscarriage because the bleeding came from me having depo while i was pregnant so they gave me a depo shot while i was pregnant um i told the doctors that um my period was irregular. So they were supposed to do a blood test instead of like a regular pregnancy test, but that's not what they did. They didn't do that. They still gave me the depo, but mind you, I was already pregnant. So the depo is making my body like making me get dizzy. This is not just with the depo, this is with the blood as well. Making me dizzy, weak, um, not having no energy. Just like in a lot of pain, a lot of stomach cramping and everything like that is coming from the blood in the depot, which is why I was in the hospital and which I've been in the hospital multiple times. So I, yesterday I went to a different hospital. Yes, I didn't go to my hospital because every time I go to my hospital, they keep saying the same thing. Well, you're experiencing all this stuff because of the depot and the blood. Yesterday I went to the doctors, I went to a different doctors and they like, they ran all the tests and everything. They like, well, okay, you're, you're healthy. The baby is healthy and blah 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 so they discharged me so i'm like bro everybody keeps telling me the same thing everybody keeps saying the same thing i'm tired of hearing the same answers it's to the point where i want to talk to a specialist i want to talk to a fetal specialist because i refuse to have a miscarriage with my baby over something that someone else did when they didn't do their medical job the way they were supposed to so it's to the point where i want to talk to a fetal surgeon i want to talk to someone who specialized in what I'm going through because it's like I'm, I break down I cry every day and it's literally eating me up inside because it's nothing that I can do to keep her safe at this point like it's like it's like odds are like it don't pop she be okay they just keep saying they hope she make it to they hope she make it to 26 weeks to 30 weeks and if she make it up there to that then she should be good but I'm like, bro, it's no way y'all can sit here and tell me this about my child. Like, and y'all don't want me to stress anything. Like, that's just stressing me out. Like, come on. Like, let's be for real. Like, y'all can't sit here and tell somebody this and expect them to be okay and fine and not stress and not have all these different issues and all these questions. Y'all cannot sit here and tell me that I'm okay and I'm fine and my daughter is fine. When I'm in pain and I'm I'm damn near passing the fuck out 
and y'all keep saying i'm okay something is not okay something is wrong but you're experiencing this because of the blood so what the hell can y'all do about the damn blood because if i faint and i fall the wrong way my damn baby can fucking die and y'all not thinking like that so it's to the point where i'm not going to take any legal matters as of right now because i'm not trying to put extra stress on myself but it's to the point where i'm like i have to take legal matters after my daughter is born because like y'all like y'all not doing anything like y'all not doing nothing to make this shit go away like y'all not even trying y'all just keep saying everything is okay everything is fine how the hell y'all keep saying everything is okay everything is fine so y'all saying well you hope that she make it to 26 to 30 weeks that, that's obviously something is not okay something is not fine so that's why i've been in the hospital that's why i've, I've been as weak as i've been that's why i've been acting the way i've been acting because people not doing their job like if I'm sitting here and telling you something is wrong, I should not be being discharged. I should be in the freaking hospital so y'all can figure out what the hell is going on or figure out what way can y'all take the fucking blood away from her. But, yeah, y'all. I just wanted to tell y'all, like, exactly what was going on in my frustration. I'm trying not to stress more than what I have to, but it's stressful. It's stressful, and I didn't cry and cry and cry. I literally cry every freaking day and i try not to because i know that's more stress but it's like damn like i can't protect her and that's my job my job is to protect her she's supposed to be in there so she's safe but yeah y'all so i just want to come in here and just clear it up and tell y'all exactly what's everything that i've been going through everything that's been going on it's just a lot okay it's, it's it's a lot and it's not no other way i can explain it besides the way i just freaking explained it like I can't even go up the steps. I can barely hold my fucking child. And it's the point where I have to, I have to make myself feel okay. Even though I'm really in pain. But, you know, that's, I'm, I'm going to stop talking about it. I'm starting to catch headache. I'm going to leave it right there. That's exactly what it is. The medical system needs to change. They need to figure out a way when people go through stuff like this, how to fix it. But, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share my channel. And stay tuned for the next video. Y'all see me with the outfit that I have on now in the next videos. Because I actually started a new vlog today. But, y'all, just pray. That's all I can do is pray. God do everything for a reason. God makes everything happen for a reason. And you can't question God. Like, you can have, like, your opinion about stuff. But you can't question God. God do everything for a reason. So, and nobody, and I, and people want to, people, I'm going to shut up. Because I don't want to say the wrong thing. And, yeah. But, thank y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank you for the food I understand. If you don't, then you don't. If you do, then you do. But, yeah. See you soon for the next video. Bye, guys.